there is a charged sphere, 17 microcoulombs, a radius from this location in the center to the outer side is uh, 4 centimeters. And then there's a metal sphere, uncharged, okay, between, I would say, infinity and this charge. But it's located uh, center to center, 15 centimeters. So we have the center, the center distance is 15 centimeters. That means this edge here is going to be 12 centimeters. And that's an important distance to know because we're going to make a graph of the potential okay, versus the distance r, and we want to know what it looks like. Okay, and uh, that 12 centimeters will become very important in a moment. So the equation we're going to use is v equals kq divided by r. Okay, and let's look at our positions here. We have 5 centimeters, 10 centimeters, 12, and so on. Now, 5 centimeters means we are outside of this charge. This is good. So I'm going to go volts is equal to 9 times 10 to the 9th multiplied by 17 times 10 to the minus 6. And we'll divide this by 0.05. And the beginning voltage then is 3.1 times 10 to the 6 times 10 to the 6 volts. And if we want to plot that on our graph, maybe we could do it about right here. And again, I'm just going to do a generalized sketch here. We're going to notice that you know, the, the graph does curve downwards. Okay, the first position, second position, third position. And this is our position right here. Let's let's calculate that position 12 there. So volts is equal to 9 times 10 to the 9 multiplied by 17 times 10 to the minus 6. And we'll divide this by 0.12. Okay, and, and that's going to equal 1.3 times 10 to the 6. Okay, and that's what this position here, and that's voltage, of course. Now, why did I do that? Well, because this metal sphere, okay, will have an electric field inside of itself equal to zero. That means the potential inside the sphere everywhere is going to equal the potential at its left boundary here, which is the 1.3 times 10 to the 6 volts. So when we do the next one, which is 14 centimeters, okay, we are still inside the sphere. We're inside the sphere for a little bit of time here. We go all the way to here, 3 centimeters, and then 3 centimeters more. Okay, so I'm going to do a little dot here to represent that next one here. We're at the same potential. Okay, and then let's see, we're going to be there. Let's see, this is 12 plus 3 is 15 plus another 3. So our other boundary here on this side is 18 centimeters. So we go to our next one here. We're going to be 20 and then 25 centimeters. So we'll be outside that metal sphere, and then the potential will begin to drop again, and it will curve again. So we have a curvature and then a flat line when we're inside the metal sphere, and then we'll start curving again, okay, because the voltage really depends on 1 over R. So we're really looking at a 1 over R curve here, and then a flat line, and then a 1 over R curve again. And uh, that becomes our general pattern. So I'm not going to calculate all of the values here. You can look at the answer key uh, to the practice test to see all the other values. Save.